In our Serenity K9 Foundation program, we teach a very important command called the place command. Um, what the place command is, is where you're actually able to tell your dog to stay on a defined boundary. So that can be like a raised dog bed, um, a regular dog bed, a yoga mat, a front door mat, anything that's got that defined boundary. We teach dogs that when I tell you place and I put my hand over this object, I want you to go there and I want you to turn off. It's their off switch and just chill out. So this allows dogs to be able to, you know, kind of turn off and shut down, relax while there's other stuff going on around them. So we can actually condition them to be calm around certain triggers. And just in general, a lot of dogs struggle to have that off switch and kind of check out. So this really assists in that and then will condition them to be calmer all around. So when we teach place to the dogs, there are a few things that we use that I want to go over first. Um, the first thing that I want to talk about is the marker words that we use. So we use good to mark when the dog has gotten what we were asking for to let them know that they're doing the right thing. And then the other marker word that we use is go. The moment that the dog makes a mistake, um, we'll mark it with no and go ahead and address it. The other word that we use is let's go, which we use in our training in general, which is just to come with me, you know, come walk with me. Um, the other thing to know is that the dogs that we're teaching place to have already been conditioned to the prong collar. So they already know what the pressure of the collar means, and we use that pressure to communicate with them everything else in our foundation program. The next thing we always do after teaching that pressure is place. So that also comes in part when teaching place to the dogs. The first step to teaching dog place, the very th first thing that we want to do is first make sure that the dog is comfortable walking onto whatever you're teaching place with. We start off usually with our raised um, place boards, which some dogs actually are scared of and don't want to step on. So first we'll make sure they're comfortable walking over it and we'll do it a couple times. We'll walk back and forth making sure that they're comfortable stepping onto this item. Um, the next thing we'll do, which is the real start to teaching this command, is we'll walk towards that place and we'll stop right before. We'll use that leash pressure if we have to to make sure the dog understands to stop with us. The reason why we're stopping right before is to give the dog a chance to kind of get their brain going in or about to start something new, a new exercise that I want you to learn. We'll go ahead and we'll walk with the dog and say place and guide them on. They're going to walk with us. And once um, all four feet are on that place, we'll put leash pressure upwards to let them know this is where I want you to stay. And when they show us that that's where they're going to stay, that leash pressure gets released and we tell them good. And we give it a second to sink in. And then we'll say, let's go. And the dog will walk with us off place and we'll do that a couple times. So the next step to teaching your dog place, um, you're actually gonna repeat what we just did, where we stop, get that leash pressure to make sure they're stopping with you, um, or rather if they don't stop with you. And then tying in place, again, leash pressure if needed. Um, now that they're on the place, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna walk around the place board. And you actually wanna give them kind of the the opportunity and that open window to make a mistake and step off. And when they do step off, you're just gonna to move towards them and say nope and apply that leash pressure for them to go back on and then keep walking around. Um, and you do that quite a few times. So remember, it's important to let them make a mistake because that's how they're going to learn. The next and very last step to teaching our place training is, um, so we went around the place board. Now what we're going to do is you can actually start to drop your leash have your dog on place, drop the leash, walk away. Um, the first few times that they get up, you would just mark it, remember that marker word, as soon as they step off, we would say no. Nope. And then you wanna walk them back on and say place again and try again. Once you see the dog really has a good understanding, we'll go into actually applying some pop corrections. So then, okay, we see that, you know, a couple times we've just kind of said no and brought the dog back and we know they've got a good understanding. Now what we'll do is, when the dog messes up, we'll say no. And when we get to them, we'll actually give consequence which is a quick pop on the leash and then bring them back to place now once they get that down that's when you can start adding in all your distractions and really getting this place training down